So let's uh, start directly by uh, just knowing the prerequisites of installing IntelliJ IDEA. So just search for IntelliJ IDEA prerequisites on your uh, favorite browser and the first link which you will uh, see here will be from JetBrains. So I'm going to just uh, click on the JetBrains link which is the company behind IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So here I can see there are two versions are available for IntelliJ IDEA IDE. We are going to install the community version which is the free and open source uh, version, version. So this community edition provides all the basic features of JVM and Android developments. And also in addition you can uh, download this IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate version which is the commercial version for which you need to pay uh, to uh, use it. So in this video we are going to see how to download this community version. Now in the system requirements you can uh, see uh, the RAM requirements, disk space, monitor resolution and operating system requirements here. And when I scroll down I can also see that you don't need to install Java to run IntelliJ IDEA because JetBrains runtime is bundled with IDE. However, it says to develop Java applications, a standalone JDK is required. So what we are going to do is we are going to install the Java JDK first of all, and then we are going to see how we can install IntelliJ IDEA on our Windows 10 operating system. So let's see how we can install Java JDK on our Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. And most probably the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. I will also paste this link in the description of this video. Now here, let me just increase the font size here so you can see it in a better way. So here you can see at the time of making this video, Java SE 13 is the latest version. Now when I scroll down, Java SE 11 is the long term support version, LTS version. And also we have the Java SE 8U241 uh, build also. So in this video, we are going to install the latest version, which is the Java SE 13. So just go under Java SE 13 and just click on this option, which says JDK download. And once this page is open, you just need to scroll down a little where it says Java SE Development Kit 13.0.2. This is the version at the time of making this video. And then you can see all the operating system for which this Java JDK is available. Now for Windows operating system, this JDK Windows X64 bin.exe file is available. So I'm going to just click on this uh, exe file, not the zip file. So I'm going to just click on this exe file here. And then I'm going to just say I received and accept the Oracle technology network license agreement. And then I'm going to just click on this download uh, JDK.exe file. Now once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And here it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I will say yes. And now you can see this initial setup window. So I'm going to just click on next here. Now on this next window, this will be the default location where your Java JDK will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, I will recommend it to just leave it as it is and just click on next button. And now it's going to just copy all these files. And in few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says that Java development kit 13.0.2 64-bit is successfully installed. So now I'm going to just uh, close this window and I will go to the location where this uh, Java JDK file is installed on my computer. So I will go to uh, this PC, C directory, and then uh, program files. And then you can see this Java directory here. And inside this Java 
folder you will be able to see uh, the JDK version you have installed. So I have installed the Java JDK 13.0.2 so I will just click on this and the important folder here is the bin folder where all the Java related files are uh, present. For example, Java C.exe will be there and other Java related executable file are all present inside this bin folder. So the next step is to set this bin folder as our environment variable so that we can run all the Java related command from the command prompt. So just copy this path up to the bin folder of the Java JDK and then go to your uh, Windows icon. Just click on the Windows icon and then click on the settings here. And in the settings, just click on the system option here. And here you can uh, search for environment variables. So just type environment variables here and you need to choose this option which says edit the system environment variables and this is going to open this kind of window. So here go to environment variables and here you need to set your environment variables related to Java. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on the path environment variable. So just click on path environment variable and then click on edit and here just paste your path for the Java bin folder at the end okay so this path is c program files java jdk 13.0.2 backslash bin and then i'm going to just press enter and then i'm going to just click ok and this environment variable is set now also if you want to uh, develop with java or java related uh, tools you might also want to set your java home environment variable so to set the Java home environment variable, what you can do is you can just click on the new option here and then the environment variable uh, we need to write here is Java home. So variable name is Java underscore home all in capital letters and the value for the variable will be the path up to JDK folder. So you don't need to go inside the bin folder, you just need to copy this folder path up to the JDK folder. So I'm going to just copy this path also and then paste it here as the value for the Java home environment variable. So C program files Java and then JDK hyphen 13.0.2 in my case. Okay. You don't need to give the bin folder path here for the Java home environment variable. I will click OK here and you can see this Java home environment variable is set now. So I will just click OK and then click OK and then I will close all the windows. Now I will once again open my command prompt. So if you have any previously opened command prompt, just close all the command prompt which you have uh, previously opened before installing Java and then now open the new command prompt. So just type uh, command prompt in the search bar and then open your command prompt here and then we are going to check all the Java related commands one by one. So the first command we are going to check is the Java version. So just write Java hyphen version here and then press enter and it's going to give you the Java version which we have installed. We have installed the Java version 13.0.2 that's why you can see here the Java version. Also you can see with the Java JDK installation this runtime and environment or Java JRE is automatically installed with the same version. So you don't need to install Java JRE separately. So now let's see how we can install IntelliJ IDEA. So for that you can just search for IntelliJ IDEA on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com. So just click on this link and once this website opens straight away you will be able to see this download button here and also on the top. So I'm going to just click on this downloads button and straight away you can uh, see ultimate and community version and as I said we are going to download the community version so I'm going to just click on the download button here 
and after few seconds the download of this uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE executable file will start. So this is around uh, 545 megabyte file so it will take some time to download. So once this executable file is downloaded we are going to just click on this uh, executable file and I'm going to minimize the browser and just click on yes here and this is the IntelliJ IDEA community edition setup window. So we are going to just click on the next button and this will be the location where uh, IntelliJ IDEA will be installed on your Windows 10 operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and click on the next button. And now you can uh, choose from these options. So in the first option, create desktop shortcut, I'm going to just choose the 64-bit launcher. The second option is update context menu. Yes, I want to do that also. And then the associations, so create associations. I can uh, just leave all these files uh, unchecked. If you want, you can uh, do that also. But I don't want to create those associations for now. So I will leave everything as unchecked. And here update path variables, which will require the restart of your uh, Windows operating system. So I'm going to just click on this option also, which says add launchers there to the path. Okay. So these are my options. And then I'm going to just click on the next button. And then you will uh, see this kind of window. So just click on next button once again. And the installation of IntelliJ IDEA IDE will start on your Windows operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this progress to reach to the end. And now at this point, I can see uh, this window which says completing IntelliJ IDEA community edition setup. And there are two options here. First is reboot now. And second is I want to manually reboot later. So I can uh, just click on this option which says I want to reboot manually later. So I will just leave it as default and I will click on the finish uh, button here. And I can see this IntelliJ IDEA icon is created here on the desktop also. So let me just manually restart my Windows operating system first of all. And then we are going to see how we can create our first Java project. So now I have restarted my Windows operating system. And now I'm going to just click on the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition icon. And when you click on this uh, icon, the first window you will see here will be the JetBrains Privacy Policy uh, document window. So I will just check this checkbox and then click on the continue button. And on the second window, it's asking me uh, my consent about the data sharing. So I don't want to share anything. So I will say don't send. And now it starts the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. At this point, you can choose uh, the theme. There are two uh, themes available here. First one is Darkula theme and other one is the light theme. So for now, I'm going to choose the light theme because for videos, uh, it's better to use the light themes. But for the development, I definitely prefer the uh, Darkula theme, okay? So for the video purpose, I will choose the light theme here. And then I'm going to just click on the next button. Here you can see a uh, tune IntelliJ idea to your task. I will leave everything as default and then click on next. And on this next window, I can see download featured plugin. So you can download and install these plugins anytime after the installation process also. So for now, I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm not going to install anything, any extra plugin. And I will say, start using IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So just click on this button and the IntelliJ IDEA IDE is starting. And the first window you will see after installing the IntelliJ IDEA IDE is this window. So here you can uh, create a new project. So let's create a new uh, project and we are going to create a Java project. And now you can choose uh, the language in which you want to develop. So I'm going to choose Java. By default, the project SDK selected here is uh, Java 13 because I have already installed Java 13 on my Windows operating system separately. If you haven't installed uh, JDK, 
you can also download the JDK from here by just clicking on uh, these options. Okay, or you can add the JDK if you have the path of the JDK uh, files and folders. Okay, so by default, whatever Java version you have, it will be selected by default here. And then I'm going to just click on the next button. Now in here, I'm going to just click on the create project from template. And I only have one option here, so I will leave it as default and then click on next. And now I can uh, give the name uh, to my project. So I'm going to just give the name uh, hello to my project and then click on finish. Once you click on finish, it's going to create all the project uh, templates for you on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE. And I'm going to minimize this browser. Uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE gives uh, tip of the day when you start IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So I'm going to just click on the close button here. And you can see this file is created by IntelliJ IDEA for us. If you want to see the project view, just click on this project option here and you will be able to see your project structure inside your project. So here we have the source file and inside uh, the source file we have this package and then we have this class here. So let's try to print something. We already have our default main method created by IntelliJ IDEA. So I'm going to just uh, remove this comment and I will just type S out here. Okay. So IntelliJ IDEA have these uh, cool uh, short keys using which you can uh, write your code. So S out is for system out print line and then press tab key which is going to just give you this code. And inside these parentheses, I can uh, just write uh, hello world here. And once you uh, have your print line statement, you can run your project by just right clicking on the file itself and then click on the run main uh, button. Okay. So for the first time, you can just uh, right click on uh, the uh, file itself and run main button. And once it runs, for the first time, next time you will be able to run uh, this file from here also. Okay, so I can uh, just do it again from uh, this button. It's going to compile and run your Java project. I can just change this output and then run uh, this uh, code once again. And it's going to print hello world with these uh, symbols, right? So this is how you can download and install IntelliJ IDEA on your Windows 10 operating system and create your first uh, Java project in IntelliJ IDEA IDE.